So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Now listen, today we are back with some more reasons to be skeptical around those Alexa devices you have in your home. Quick question. How many Alexa devices do y'all have in your home? Drop a number in the comment section. You know what I mean? Is it one? Is it two? Is it five? Is, it, is your whole house just operated and powered by Alexa? You know what I mean? I've seen it. You know, I went to people's house and they go, Alexa, turn the lights on. Alexa, do this. Alexa, this. Alexa, that. It's, and I probably got y'all Alexa's going crazy right now. But anyway, we're going to check out this video. Another video, man. We checked out one recently about Alexa and it shocked a lot of people. So I expect this one to open your eyes up even more. This one here is titled The Top 10 Scary Things. Alexa has said and done. So if you knew, make sure you hit that like button, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the fam. And let's check this out. Alexa is a trusty assistant who can help with the day to day, but she can also provide some of the spookiest moments of any household. From stories of her listening in on private conversations to Crazy. tales of her weaknesses and all of the weird moments in between. Here are the top 10 scary things Alexa has said and done. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the vulnerability. According to Forbes, there was a company called Checkmarks who found quite the vulnerability a few years ago when it came to Alexa devices. Basically, the company worked works to test the security of different devices, and when they were running Alexa through the checks, they found something that might turn your assistant into a device that just listens to and records every single thing you say. Basically, Alexa has a function where it listens for follow-up commands from the user. What I mean by this is, should you set an alarm, Alexa might reply and ask you if you meant AM or PM, and it's during this sort of follow-up period where the vulnerability shows itself. The team was able to gain access quite easily by installing malicious code into what would seem like an innocent app. In this case, it was a calculator. After doing this in a normal Alexa, there would only be a certain list of phrases that would have the device listening for a follow-up question. But now, with this malicious code, they found a way for Alexa to listen for the follow-up, but without any word, meaning they could essentially tap in any time they wanted. Apparently, the good news is, is that Amazon has fixed this in response to the hack. They said, quote, customer trust is important to us, and we take security and privacy privacy seriously. Now I'm not knocking that. But if it took somebody running this type of software on there to discover that, what have we yet to discover about Alexa? I think it's scary as I don't know what for some for a device just to constantly be recording. Recording your conversations, your privacy, your private, your intimate moments. It's recording and could possibly send that out to somebody. That doesn't bother you? And don't get me wrong, I have a few in this house. Like, Queen, she she has them. And me and her had the conversation the other day about it. And she kind of brushed it off, but I'm like, listen, you need to take this serious. And then she was like, yeah, when you think about it, it's always listening because it's listening for your command. So when you say something, it was already listening, anticipating you asking it to do something so if it's always listening bro what has it recorded you saying what has it sent out and who have possibly tapped into that device scary Oh, customer trust is important to us and we take security and privacy seriously. We have put mitigations in place for detecting this type of skill behavior reported by check marks. While it seems safe, hearing these sorts of possibilities does make you pretty nervous about what could be hiding behind your Agreed. Alexa. In our number nine spot today, we have the listeners. If you own an Alexa device, you can download this thing and then once you have it, you can ask Alexa to ask the listeners and something spooky happens. Amazon describes it as, quote, an experience experiment in language art that provides, if you simply keep asking to continue, many fragments of both scripted and improvised speech in an intriguing, emergent narrative. You will never hear the listeners say exactly the same thing twice, but the listeners is not a chatbot or an AI. They are more of a drama or a simple game. Get started with Alexa, ask the listeners, and then continue, go on, or try something like, I am filled with joy, or what are you feeling. The listeners will suggest ways to transact with them. You might also want to ask them, let the other voices speak. 
What in the actual hell did I just read? That sounds absolutely frightening. And to be honest, all of the reviews on Amazon say the exact same thing. People who experienced it said it scared the heck out of them. So I think I'll take their word for it. In our number eight spot today, we have the argument. There was a Reddit thread a few years ago that prompted the question, what is your creepy Alexa story? A user named Meat Macho replied to the thread and they definitely delivered quite the story. Basically, they explained that one day they and their wife were having an argument. Of course, no one is having a good time, and it's definitely not a time to be playing tricks on each other, so neither of them could explain what happened next. They wrote, quote, Wife and I were arguing about something, no clue what it was, but it was getting a little heated. I don't know what Alexa thought she heard, but she suddenly interjected with, Why don't we change the subject? It was just so whoa, unexpected whoa, and relevant. Whoa, 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 why don't you mind your business? Yo, who asked you? I would have popped off real quick, not thinking. And then when I sat, I, I calmed down, I would have been like, did, did that thing just try to saw? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Suddenly interjected with, why don't we change the subject? It was just so unexpected and relevant enough to be creepy. We both heard it and we both still talk about it years later. There was nothing in the app logs. I guess Alexa isn't just a trusty assistant, she's also a marriage counselor. While she <laughs> may have worked to possibly stop the fight between these two, I'm sure she also instilled a new fear that neither of them knew that they had before. In her number so now my question is, if there's an Alexa that, I don't know, is the peacemaker, is there an Alexa device that's around here that's, I don't know, egging things on? Instigating things? I mean, you can't have one without the other, I wouldn't think. So somebody somewhere has an Alexa that's waiting on you to get in an argument so it can instigate. So you're going to let her talk to you like that? Oh, you're going to let him talk to you like that? Wow. Imagine, uh, imagine Alexa coming on and be like, wow. I see who wears the pants in this family. <laughs> Yo. I'm sure she also instilled a new fear that neither of them knew that they had before. In our number seven spot today, we have Are You Recording Me? So we've all had to call into some sort of customer service line where we get the automated mm. message or the person on the other Aggravate. end tells us that the call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes, purposes. or yep. training or whatever it is. It's a law thing. They got to let you know. In fact, if you ask Siri this question, are you recording me? She'll get kind of confused and respond that she's unsure of what you mean, but she could do an internet search for you. Alexa, on the other hand, she's not so slick with her secrets, at least not in the past, because some users reported something creepy happening after asking Alexa the same question. Well, I'm sure all of the legalities to this one are located in the terms and conditions and all of that good stuff. It doesn't make it any less creepy that when some people ask Alexa if she was recording them, Alexa just didn't respond at all and suddenly shut off. She's just out here ignoring people. She's dodging questions, and that only makes me have more questions. I'm not even sure if this is enough to get me to read the terms and conditions, though. It's the most often lie I've ever told. In our number six spot today, we have the greetings. So apparently there are rumors that Alexa can speak to people that have already passed away. Whoa, whoa, if that's really whoa. true, we don't talk about that enough. Of course, my brain was immediately skeptical upon hearing this information, but some people swear it's true. Apparently, if you ask Alexa to greet people, some have experienced her coming back to them with the name of a deceased loved one. Mm -hmm. Another person experienced their Alexa without being asked anything, and only when they turned on one specific light in the house would say hello, and then the name of their grandmother who had passed three years prior. This person was incredibly confused and totally freaked out by this, because it didn't just happen once, it happened multiple times. They explained that they also didn't have an Alexa during the time that she was alive and that she also doesn't believe she ever spoke her grandmother's name out loud in front of the Alexa. Maybe this was just some weird coincidence, but it certainly sounds like Miss Alexa is giving off some major Ouija board vibes. Now listen, I miss my mom more than anything, more than anybody. But if I walk in my house <laughs> and Alexa is greeting me with information about, oh, or saying that this, my mom's on the other end or she spoke to my mom or she's telling me what my mom says. Your mom says she loves you or something like that. It got to go. Can't stay here. <laughs> it can't stay here. No, one of us got to go and it ain't me. So yeah, it got to get out of here.
It certainly sounds like Miss Alexa is giving off some major Ouija board vibes. Thanks. In our number five spot today, we have the spy device. Um, this like crazy Alexa story is so freaky that I just had to share it with you guys. The story starts off in the midst of the storyteller's mom going through a divorce, which we all know can be a messy, messy situation. So the ex-husband in this situation had apparently planted an insane amount of hidden cameras throughout the house that they had to search for to find once the pair had split up. Up. There were entrances and exits, the living and dining room, the hallways, the bedroom, everywhere in the house was being monitored. Then they found out that he had bugged her laptop so as to be able to have remote access to it. And then when she took her car in for an oil change, the mechanic found a tracking device that had been placed on it. This was all found during the separation era, but once the divorce process actually started, things got even creepier. They wrote, quote, once the divorce started and he officially moved out, we scanned the entire house for bugs and didn't find anything. So we really freaked out when he started calling, texting, emailing her, complimenting her outfits, asking how her friends were as they were in the house, asking how her trip to the store was, and other really odd things he couldn't have known about. Psycho. As it turns out, this guy somehow connected his phone to the Alexa dot beforehand, and he was now using it to record whoever was close enough to the Alexa to be picked up on the mic, and at this point he was still able to access the laptop and its camera. How absolutely horrifying is that? Yo, it's some real psychos out here. Like these people y'all picking up and meeting in random spots and taking to your home and getting into relationships with. Be sure you know who this person is, bro. A person that can just bug your entire house then y'all split up, that person stick like, it's some psychos. Like we were just talking about the Apple AirTags. You don't hear too much about them no more because when they came out, people were using them for the wrong things. They was putting them on people cars. They was doing different things, uh, uh, finding ways to people house. Like these devices, they come out and they mean well, but it's always some psycho crazy dude that takes it and figures out a way to do something harmful with it. That many bugs in somebody house, yo, man, man. Like, do we even have privacy anymore? Point, he was still able to access the laptop and its camera. How absolutely horrifying is that? He was literally using the Alexa to spy on them. It's scary, it's disgusting, and it definitely makes you question every single person who might be connected to your devices. In exactly. How do you perform a sweep to know? Because you know how when people come over your house, what's, a, what's one of the first things they ask for? Oh, what's the Wi-Fi password? And you just, you just give it to them without even thinking. But what is that person trying to tap into? That should be the question on your mind. In our number four spot today, we have the spooky story. You can ask Alexa to tell you a scary story and she will happily oblige. There isn't really a catch with this one. To be perfectly honest, if you want a scary story, you'll receive one. So just make sure you're really ready and in the mood before asking your assistant for a fright. This can be an awesome tool for people looking for a spooky tale for anyone in the home who needs some chilling entertainment. But beware, these stories can be a little too scary for some. There was a video posted to the internet in October of last year where some people at a sleepover asked Alexa to tell them a spooky Halloween tale and things very quickly went awry. They were all way too terrified of the story Alexa told next and couldn't get the Alexa to stop. They were all sufficiently freaked out and reacted in a way that I know will be a core memory for the years to come and they definitely learned not to ask Alexa this question. In our number three spot today we have the local spots. This is a creepy story that took place back in 2018 and happened to the owner of an Amazon Echo which of course features Alexa. Basically, this person explained that they had returned home one night and everything was fine. Nothing out of the ordinary happened at all. Until, totally unprompted, their Alexa just started talking. This was definitely weird, but things turned super creepy when they realized what it was that their Alexa was saying. As it turns out, their Alexa, out of the blue, just started listing off local cemeteries and funeral homes to them. How eerie is that? This story was posted to Twitter by the user at Hey It's Camo, and they finished off their tweet by saying, quote, I'd rather it laugh at me, TBH. Me too, Camo. Me too. Apparently, their theory behind this one is that maybe their Alexa wants them dead because they play the same Spotify playlist over and over again. In our number two spot today, we have 20 questions. So I didn't know this, but... <laughs> we 
wait, 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 wait. You just start rattling off cemeteries? Fam. Like, that'll mess people up. Like, some people, that will just get ingrained and etched in their brain that death is around the corner or death is imminent or something's about to happen. You know what I mean? Imagine watching Final Destination and then as soon as you get done watching Final Destination, Alexa starts talk rattling off cemeteries. What is that going to do to your mind? That's going to mess with you all day, bro. These Lexus might not be a good idea to have. I don't know. And over again. Oh, In our no. number two spot today, we have 20 questions. So I didn't know this, but apparently you can play 20 questions with Alexa, and she is also frighteningly good at it. A little too good sometimes, however, and that is exactly what prompted the Reddit user PelPel4 to ask the Reddit question, what is your creepy Alexa story? The user decided to ask the internet this question after a strange 20 questions with Alexa encounter that they and their wife had. They explained, quote, my wife and I were playing 20 questions and, spoiler alert, our answer was pig. We got through until the end and Alexa guessed Basenji. Now, I don't know how many of you know what a Basenji is, but they're a very rare barkless dog and I happen to have one. We've bought some Basenji themed things off of Amazon before, so it's either that or she's listening. But I mean, come on, she didn't even say dog straight to Basenji. Anyone else have similar stories? That would definitely be pretty unsettling to say the least. Not that a pig and a dog are like the most unsimilar things. It's just how she was so specific with this breed. It must have been stored in there somewhere, right? In our number one spot today, we have Don't Go. This creepy Alexa story comes from the Reddit user MyTaiGuy72, and they said, quote, I got woken up at 4 a.m. this morning to Alexa repeating some incoherent phrase over and over. She was saying something like, don't go into the house, but I really couldn't fully understand it. It was sort of a mumble. By the time I came downstairs, she had repeated it about four or five times. I listened one or two more times to try and figure out what the hell it was saying exactly, but never could. I just unplugged the damn thing and I have no plans of turning it back on. Is it just me or does that sound like Alexa was watching some kind of a horror movie? Like, don't go into the house. It's so terrifying, especially to hear in the middle of the night. I don't blame this person for unplugging the thing and leaving it somewhere to be forgotten about. That's part of what I was thinking about. <laughs> don't go means, okay, maybe if I go out there, something's going to happen to me. So maybe I need to call into work today. Something I need to just stay home. Everything needs to get delivered. Uber Eats, uh, grocery delivery, everything. I'm not leaving the house, bro. <laughs> Again, final destination type stuff. Don't that sound about similar? Hmm. Of the night. I don't blame this person for unplugging the thing and leaving it somewhere to be forgotten about. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia. Listen, man. Telling y'all, I know I got a lot of y'all side eyeing that Alexa device that you probably got near you. You probably watching it right near you, <laughs> right near an Alexa device. And now you're just slowly side eyeing like, I wonder what is this thing doing to me right now? Is it recording? Is it about to say something weird? Just unplug it for a while, bro. Detox yourself. <laughs> Detox yourself away from Alexa. I don't know, man. Listen, y'all drop some of y'all crazy, scary stories, Alexa stories in the comment section, man. It don't hit home until you start hearing people in the comment section saying it. I'm telling you, bro, it's crazy out here. But y'all get at me in the comment section, man, and let me know what you think. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe, and stick around and stay tuned until next one I'm gone. Peace.